Hi guys! Again, this is Yair from Rain the Dog, and we are with the Beyond Selenium Tutorials, the best way to make you the best automation out there. Today we will study how to override the basic send keys of Selenium. For example, whenever we want to insert some text, we use send keys in Selenium. The problem with that, you already guessed probably, that it doesn't give us any indication that our action was successful. In many cases, some characters are getting lost in the way due to network issues or any other issues. And also some limitations that the original planner of the text box wanted, let's say, doesn't accept capital letters, for example. And we wanted to send the keys and to make sure that the same text that we sent is the text that appears on the screen. Due to that and many other reasons, we need to override the basic Selenium send keys. First of all, we'll ad identify this input box. As you can see, there is a class name here. I will pass, paste this class name here in our test. And I want to go to the method that we are studying today. As you can see, we have this method, the insert text. This method will get a web element, the text to insert, and also a delay in milliseconds. You probably ask yourself, why do we need a delay? A delay sometimes can be very valuable. Sometimes due to traffic or your computer is preoccupied with other tasks. Some characters are lost in the way. We've seen it in many tests that we've run. Sometimes a, sl a slight delay of even 50 milliseconds can make a whole lot of difference. Anyway, we'll get a text. We're val uh, validating the element is not null. Then we're running on each, char each character of the string that we received. And we're waiting the time that we wanted to wait in milliseconds. By the way, we're using this kind of method that we wrote ourselves. You can copy it and use it as well. You can use other weights. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, after that, we will send the key of our text. This, this will be the particular character that we want to send. And last but not least, we'll get the text that we inserted and store it in a variable. Why do we need that? After we send all the keys, we want to validate that the text that appears on the screen is the text that we intended to send from the beginning. Then, when we will return the boolean value, we'll make sure that the text that appears on the screen equals to the text that we want to insert. Otherwise, we will return a false value. Simple, yeah? Guys, just a short correction. Because we are inserting the text, and it's not a text that was before that we started the text that was there, we need to get the value of it because it's a value that we inserted. So I've changed it instead of get text, we're getting the attribute value. Now let's go to our test and let's complete our test. First of all, we're inserting this kind of text and also we have the delay of 50 milliseconds. We we'll also won't forget our assertion because otherwise we just have a boolean value. If something happened in, during the insertion, insertion of this text, we'll get, uh, our test will fail. Otherwise, it will pass. It will pass. Our criteria is that the text was a, we were able to insert the text and also that the text that appeared on the screen is the text that we sent. Otherwise, our test will fail. That way, we'll make sure that the test is doing whatever it was intended and designed to do. Let's run it. As you can see, there is a delay. By the way, the test was passed. What, what was happening in test, we were navigating to google.com and then we inserted the text to this input box 
and then we validated that the text that appears here is the text that we inserted from the first place using a delay. Thank you guys so much. Hope you have a good time and please subscribe and like if you like our videos. Please give us some thumbs up. Have a good day.